The question I have for you today is, how big does your bathroom have to be in a trailer? Let me know in the comments what you think are some of those necessities got to be in a bathroom and then that for, therefore would require a certain size. You know, some people are okay with a wet bath where it's all just one thing. And some people want a dry bath with a lot of space in there and a lot of room to move around and big mirrors and big countertops. So it just really varies. So right now, today we'll be in the Explore. This is the X22. And the bathroom in here is, for some it's a little small and for others it's just fine. For me, I would like it to be a little bigger to be honest. And because of that, we have, and a lot of requests actually, have done it. I have made the bathroom bigger. So to give you some good perspective, I'd like to show you what it looks like right now and then we'll move on to the bigger bathroom. So it's a real nice bathroom in here, honestly. It's got a really big shower, which th there's plenty of room in there for me when I come inside here. You know, my head fits in here just fine. I got some pretty decent elbow space, not a problem. If you've watched the videos, you've seen Shane stand in there to give you more perspective. But the, the thing for me, you know, when I come over here to this area to get into the sink, and to like brush my teeth and to like get down here, it's just a little tight, especially if the door shut. Um, same thing on the bathroom, on the toilet. If I sit down on the toilet and shut the door, it's just, it's, 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 it's a little tight for me. And if I want to change my clothes or something, there's people in here and I shut the door, it's, it's kind of difficult to do, to be honest. So anyways, that's, th this is the original bathroom. The glass is real nice in here. I do like that. You know, it, it, it's, it's a nice bathroom, but I would like a little bit more space. So let me show you how we've made more space. Hello everyone. My question for you today is how big does your bathroom have to be in your trailer? A little deja vu there for you. You thought it was starting over, didn't you? If you've ever seen Groundhog's Day, it's a good one. Anyways, the bathroom has been made. It's really simple actually. Very easy mod. Sometimes we get really crazy and you know, like, tear things apart and remove things and replace things. It still takes some work, but it's, it's a simple design. So if you see, I just got a curtain in here. So I went ahead and removed all the glass enclosure. So you still have the same base and same walls, but now there is ample space here. I can get over to the sink super easy, all the elbow space I want, sit down on the toilet. You have a lot more space. You can spread your knees and legs lift them up, move them around. There is a lot of space. Shut the door, way more space. And it's just simple, it's real simple. And the curtain works just great. You step inside, you know, you still have all the cover you need. And you can go with lots of different types of curtains. This is just a nice little cloth one. You get the plastic ones, whatever. Anyways, I love it. The simplicity goes along with the trailer on the ease and the simplicity that's in the Explorer. When it comes to the battery management system, your towing, your refrigerator, all the components in it are very easy and they're not complicated. All right, there you have it. There is my upgrade to the bathroom, making it bigger, more space in there. It's real simple, but it really does make a big difference. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, here at RVs of America, we're always looking for ways to personalize, upgrade, improve. We're, we're all about progress and growth. And so whether it's in the product or in our team, or if there's a way that we can help you as well, we're, that's what we focus on. And no matter what, this trailer out of the box, it's fantastic to tell you the truth. But there are just little things that we like to do to to adjust and improve that and I will never stop upgrading things whether it's comes with you know my Jeep or a trailer or I even bought a 3D printer and that thing is just like a Jeep it's endless upgrades everything can be upgraded and that's what we'll continue to do so if you like that keep on watching and I have a lot of little upgrades that I'm planning to do to the Explorer so stay tuned for that subscribe thank you for watching Hope to see you out on an adventure in the future, camping somewhere. We'll see you later.